Hi, this is John Zimmer with MySelfDefenseBlog.com and I'm here today to talk about gorgets. It will, uh, I think the title of this is Sore Throat Protection Gorgets. Well, a uh, crushed windpipe would be a sore throat arguably, so I stand by my title. Uh, you're wondering what is a gorget? Well, obviously I'm wearing one. Uh, it's a throat, neck, and upper spine protector. Uh, I'll take this off and show you the 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 plates in a bit, but I wanted to tell you what it's used for first. I mean, it does look rather fashionable. It's a little bit heavy. It probably weighs a couple pounds, and it's it's made of leather, rivets, and metal plates. But uh, it's used for HEMA as one of uh, a lot for HEMA because they do sword fighting. Uh, you want it has a metal plate right here and it has rivets here and if you get struck in the throat that would ruin your day uh, it also is used for I use it for Kenpo Karate and improvised weapons training uh, typically what I used to use in improvised weapon training was a fencing mask and I still do use that arguably but you see this skirt here if uh, if you were to take a uh, medieval dagger and hit it here, it goes in pretty far. In fact, there's no real resistance other than at the top and the bottom give it a little bit of resistance, but it still allows it to strike pretty hard. That's where the gorget comes in. You see, if I go into the small, um, my, uh, uh, my windpipe bone, uh, you know, the, uh, what do you, uh, describe it, the small of my neck here, or if I go into the neck proper, this protects it. I'm not, I mean, I, I can feel it. I would get sore from this if I got hit really hard, but it would not go into me. Uh, that's the key word here. So, uh, so I use it for Kenpo, which is law of the fist. We do improvised weapon fighting. You know, it's, it's good to actually try this stuff. So if you ever have to defend yourself against a knife, you kind of know what you can get away with and what you can't. Uh, but also I use it in HEMA because I do uh, uh, Bolognese sword, sword and buckler training. I'm a novice there. I'm an expert at karate, but I'm a novice at sword fighting. Uh, so. The swords are quite a bit bigger than the daggers, uh, as you can see. The the daggers here. Uh, let's go back here. See how far you can see. Uh, okay. See the dagger here, and the sword here, and the swords are such that if if I'm fighting with my sword and uh, sword and buckler, you can't probably can't see this all. But you're, you're going to do a quick little flip of your sword and then do a strike or a strike. Uh, that comes off fairly hard right here. So you really need this. So I'm drilling this, uh, drilling this point home a little too much probably. But let me show you what it looks like with the fencing mask. So you see how the lip kind of comes right over here. And then if somebody comes at you with a weapon, you can take getting poked here. You can already take getting poked here, but you can take getting poked here pretty good. So it's safe to learn how to sword fight or learn how to use an improvised weapon without worrying about getting your windpipe crushed. So that's, that's why this is sore throat defense, score gets more of a crushed windpipe defense. So we... Before I go, I'd just like to show you the gorget up close. So let me, let me pop it out. Comes apart. This particular one is that guy's gorget. It goes, it goes from 15 inches to 20 inches. It's a uh, pretty good, uh, I've used them already in my HEMA class, so I know they're good, but I'm going to use this one tomorrow at sword fighting. 
but uh, showing you up close can you uh, let's see right here can you see the little round indentations they're a bunch of uh, interlocking not really locking but uh, overlapping metal plates is what I believe is in there from what I can see so that gives you the rigidity that I was trying to point out earlier and also in the back see this big triangle spot right here that's the optimal uh, plate they asked me if I wanted to put on there to guard uh, my spine my upper spine my upper thoracic spine a little bit of cervical C7's covered in there and then here is uh, here's the plate that comes in it so you can see it really well if you're interested in something like this but I would really recommend anybody doing uh, uh, sword or dagger training if you're a seal type and you wanna and you're and you're fighting with goggles on or something wear a gorget too because I mean it's uh, it's it's a foul in uh, karate MMA to hit somebody in the neck and there's a reason for that you can kill somebody fairly easily that's why you do everything you can do do to protect it anyway Thank you. I'm John Zimmer with MySelfDefenseBlog.com. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Uh, this is a wrap.